What's up guys and welcome back to another video on the channel. So today um, I'm going to be making the return of, uh, of one of my favorite series to make uh, on the channel back when I was doing videos regularly in FIFA 18. Uh, so a bit of nostalgia here but uh, but yeah so we're going to be doing the series called Versus and as you guys can see on the screen we have um, a pretty solid team here. This is the team I use um, on my main account, you know, um, just for playing the game, Road to Glory sort of thing. Um, and uh, and yeah, so I have uh, Neuer in goal. Uh, bought him for 53k. He's obviously a little bit cheaper now. He is the best goalkeeper I've used all year. Um, Rafa Varane and Theo Hernandez. Uh, Varane is actually untradeable. But he is very, very good, especially with that anchor. His pace goes up to uh, uh, to 91 sprint speed, 84 acceleration. Really, really good. Carvajal to partner him on the right-hand side. Uh, there at right back. And another Real Madrid player, Modric, uh, over here. Done pretty well, though not as good as I expect. So he might be uh, somebody who who gets moved around a little bit. Um, over here we have Theo Hernandez, as I mentioned. Luca Dean from uh, Everton, one of my favorite players. And then this Bernard from Everton as well. Um, you guys might have seen the Footbin video. I did pretty well on him in terms of his price, 177. I think right now he's going for like 220, so that's pretty good. Uh, but a very good card, actually. Fernandinho kind of has that midfield destroyer. Obviously doesn't go forward very much. Um, I actually need to put a chemistry style on him. I just realized I didn't have one. And then this Lucas. Now, you guys can see, I have played six games with this Lucas, and I have scored ten goals. And uh, and that's who we're actually going to be comparing today. This Lucas, this Brazilian Premier League striker, to this Sergio Aguero. Okay? So it's a little bit of a comparison between um, that meta speed, um, pace, high dribbling sort of thing, versus the clinical finisher. Okay, so you can guys can see the stat comparison over on the right-hand side of your screen right now. Um, these are both the chemistry styles that came with. I think I'm going to put a pace chemistry style on Aguero, maybe a Hawk um, as well, actually, just to boost that physical a teeny bit. Um, although, maybe an engine, because the shooting's really high already. Uh, I'll let you guys know that later in the video. But, uh, but as you can see, Lucas Mora has that big advantage in pace. Um, but Aguero beats him out in pretty much every other category. The dribbling is very similar. But yeah, again, it's going to be that pace versus the clinical finishing. Um, I have not used Aguero at all yet this game. But uh, for four different other owners, he's played 16 games, scored 12 goals, four assists. That's a pretty good return. Um, four star, four star. Uh, obviously very, very good. Four star, four star here as well. Um, I don't recommend using attacking players that have less than eight total stars and by that i mean four star four star very good adds to eight right of course um bernard four star four star i'm trying to find somebody who i don't think anybody in my team has um five star skills but five star skills three star weak foot is is good with me five star weak foot three star skills is good with me um obviously if you can get somebody like dembele five star five star um that's that's really good as well but again yeah that um that combination of four star, four star is really, really good. So I'm looking forward to using Lucas uh, and Aguero. As I have mentioned um, in my videos a couple years ago, um, we will be playing uh, two games offline and three games online. All of these online games will be in foot champions, so it's a pretty high level of competition. I'm generally a gold level player. Um, been doing pretty well this weekend. I think I am 10 in four right now, nine and four. <clears throat> um, so hopefully the addition of Aguero um, and Lucas really, because I've only used Lucas for those uh, those six games, um, kind of springboards me up a little bit. I was thinking about using Gabriel Jesus as part of this versus, but um, but I'm not gonna use him. I do have a pretty good return on him. He is first owner, 15 goals, 17 assists from 29 games. Um, but he doesn't have that four star weak foot and I kind of noticed that. Um, he is um, about 15k on the market. Aguero, just uh, for note, I got him for 245. He's going for about 250 right now. I got a little bit of a snipe on him. And uh, and Lucas is going for about 38. I bought him a couple days ago for 39.5. So it would take about six Lucases to make one Aguero in price. Is Aguero six times as good? I really doubt it. Um, but honestly, even if he is um, 
you know, twice as good, that would be a really good return for those coins. Uh, a lot of really good players are really affordable right now. Um, so Aguero's price still being that high suggests to me that he's going to be a really good card. But, um, but enough of me talking about the team and talking about the players. We are going to uh, get into some game highlights right now where I talk about... Uh, talk about the players and uh, and how I feel and then at the end of the video We will of course have that stat comparison um, and take a look at the players side by side So we're gonna get into that right now All right guys, so here we are going to get into some of my general thoughts on the players and a little bit of gameplay um, I apologize that there's not a ton of gameplay here um, but it was definitely enough to uh, to form my opinion and uh, and here it is um, Aguero is a huge waste of money. Huge to me. I've heard a lot of really good things about him, um, but for me, he did not get the job done. Um, whereas Lucas is awesome. Feels quick. He's always in the right position. Uh, his attacking positioning is really, really good. As you can see, some of these goals, he's just in the right place at the right time. He did score three goals across three games. We'll take a more in-depth look at the stats later. Um, but Aguero was just awful to me. Really, really... Um, sluggish and slow, uh, didn't feel like he was in the right place at the right time. I took plenty of shots with him, as you guys will see. Plenty were on target, um, but he just didn't finish him. Um, as you can see, Lucas gets an assist there. Um, so he did turn creator uh, at some points as well. And actually, he was pretty tenacious on defense as well, winning the ball back um, more than once for me. Uh, and and overall, yeah, Lucas was just a far, far better player. Here is Aguero, one of the few times he actually influenced the game from kickoff. Uh, takes the ball, passes to Dembele. Dembele actually does most of the work here. Nice little drag back. Um, thought he got fouled. But uh, Bernard actually just cuts it across to Aguero. And this was the one time he was standing in the right place. And as you can see, he had to make that last second move to be there. But he did get the job done there. But that was honestly the only good play I had. Um, he does get the uh, pass there to George Best. Um, but honestly, just wasn't impressed with Aguero. He didn't feel good. He didn't feel like he was in the right position most of the time. Um, and as you guys can see... Look at this goal we score. And look where he's standing. He's just standing offside, like making a run to nowhere. That's not helpful. Um, so now you guys can see we are jumping into the stats here. So Aguero stats are up top. Again, I only played three games. Going forward, I will try to play five games. But if you look, I had zero wins playing with Sergio Aguero. A 3-2 loss, a 3-2 loss, and a 3-0 loss. His average rating was just about a 7.5 over the three games. Only scored the one goal, no assists, took um, five shots on target, and I just found it was hard to get into shooting positions with him. But with five shots on target, you should end up with more than one goal if you're finishing as good as that card pretends to be. Um, and I, again, I was playing the same way with both cards, really trying to keep it as fair as possible. They played in the same team. All of this was in foot champions, so you know we should be getting a very similar caliber of opponent. Um, but again, you can see... Uh, he actually did pretty well passing the ball, but that was about the only bright spot with Aguero. But if you move into Lucas Mora, we were able to get um, some very good results out of him in 8.6 and 9.2, and then that 7.1 we obviously didn't play too well in. Um, but he did get, again, three goals over the course of those three games, along with an assist. So four contra goal contributions in three games is very, very good for me. Um, he did have 11 shots on target, which is over double what Aguero, Aguero was able to do. Um, and honestly, at this price point, it's silly to me to buy Aguero. I know I was planning on putting some squad battles in, but you don't buy Sergio Aguero to play in squad battles. So honestly, I just I felt like you guys didn't need those squad battle games. Again, I will be playing five games, so you get a little bit more of a sample size going forward. But for me, you could feel it after the first game. Aguero is not worth the coins for me. I would not pay up for him um, in any way, shape, or form. At the end of 11 players, my plan is to review a player in every position. And once we get to the end of 11 players, I'm going to use um, my full best pick team, hopefully. Um, which I think would be really cool. So Lucas uh, earns his spot in that best pick team. Um, was a major contributor. He's going to be the striker I use in the next weekend league as well. Links up really well with that Scream Bernard card too. So that's nice as well. Um, but yeah, again, Lucas blew Sergio Aguero out of the water. It wasn't even close. And at like one quarter, one fifth of the price, I don't see any reason to pay up for Aguero. 
um, instead of just rolling with this Lucas Mora card. And Lucas will continue to go down because I believe he's 83 rated. Um, he's just going to continue to go down um, over time uh, on that price because he's so low rated. He'll get continue to get packed. So again, Lucas over Sergio Aguero, and it's not particularly close. Um, really enjoyed making this video. Glad the series is back. And, uh, and look forward to more videos on the channel, guys. Please like, subscribe if you're new, um, and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Thanks.